wanted to share with you uh, something that uh, occurred the other day. Uh, this rubber strap came off of uh, my Terra trike. I had the uh, the trike out in the backyard doing a, a photo shoot, and the wind took the canopy as it was standing upright and bent it completely over backwards to the ground, and it busted this rubber strap that normally is over the back of the rack time rack down in this position here and it cracked right across the top and I could tell by looking at the uh, at the rubber piece after I took it off that the uh, there's weather cracking across that now I have changed from this uh, almost a natural rubber as I first started out with to a butyl rubber so these these newer straps are a butyl rubber and I'd like to continue testing them but what I am going to start doing is drilling a hole, a pair of holes, in this adapter block so that uh, tie straps can be put around here and wrapped around uh, the rack. Uh, this, this would be an easy field fix which I'm bothered by right now because I cannot field fix this without disassembling the adapter, which is not that difficult, but disassembling and putting another strap down in that sandwich. So what uh, what I'll do, I've already got one of these on the Terra Trike or ready to go. In fact this is the one that's going back on the Terra Trike. It's positioned such and when this is put back on I'd like for this strap to end up looking like that. In other words when it goes around and comes around the top uh, or the, around the rack up the top and back down through that slot when it's being connected, I'd like for this piece of the tie strap to be positioned right about here. And what that will do, that will eliminate fingers from getting on that piece. If I can hold all this with one or two hands. That's about where it will be positioned because it's going to go down through a hole and back up through that slot and through here and when I cut it off I'll take uh, probably a hot knife and just melt the end over but that will be concealed where you will not see it and the only thing you'll see over the top of the rack is where if I can simulate that is just where the uh, the tie strap will come across the top in two places and another thing while I'm talking about it I've spread these holes out you can see about where they're located uh, these these little bumpers here uh, are about halfway between this part of this uh, the block and where the hole location is but I've spread them apart to where the one inch strap one inch wide strap will not interfere with these tie straps so this is how I'm going to continue to send out the units this is a field fix until I can determine that this is just not worth my time. So, uh, but the your new blocks you know, from 2016 on will have this pair of holes in them. Uh, I shouldn't say 2016. Uh, shipped in April after April will have this pair of holes in it for a field fix okay and I'll put this uh, I'll put this back on the tear track and take some more pictures and show you what it looks like this is off the tear track I did repaint it some of the wood is uh, compressed here where it was tightly fastened against the, the the rear of the rack other than that it's pretty much intact so and I thought you'd like to see that uh, the uh, the whole size uh, 11 60 fourths for that pair of holes in the block and some of the early model blocks did not have these little screws to help hold these uh, these bumpers uh, in uh, these are replaceable and also the thickness is uh, selectable because I wanted to be able to tune this by varying the thickness of that bumper down in there uh, this can bend up or down depending on how thick that, that that piece is and I like the fact that the rubber does have some give here it's just that the wind I don't know probably 30 to 40 mile an hour wind bent that canopy all the way over backwards and 
and snap this uh, year old rubber. This is exactly a year old and I have not put anything on it I like the 303 uh, aerospace protectant which is like a UV 40 I didn't put anything on this so that's uh, you know, it's about a year's worth of work and that's really not good enough for me so I've gone to a, uh, a butyl rubber quite frankly I do hope you can see what I'm trying to do here there's the uh, you can see not only these two holes that I've put in uh, the adapter block, but also there's some space down in behind that block between that and the plate where this tie strap can uh, can go. Now I'm going to insert the tie strap. This is an 8 inch long tie strap. I'm going to insert it in these holes from the bottom side and position this little locking device such that when the tie strap comes up through and then back down it'll go straight into that locking uh, feature. So let's see if I can do this without getting in the way of the camera. It's hard to see what I'm doing. I'm going to come up through there and down. And I think uh, once you've gotten that far, if you look underneath, uh, it's pretty easy to tell what uh, what is going on. Now I'm going to be sending these units out with uh, with a rubber strap, with a butyl rubber strap. We'll see how long uh, they last. I expect a year to two years. This is a real easy fix, uh, in field fix, uh, but I want to see how long these straps will hold. I, I like the fact that uh, the adapter can flex a little bit. Remember now this strap any of these strapping uh, features is only really protected when the canopy is, is going backwards which it won't do when it's installed and hooked to the front so that's what we're going to try to do